Bill Graham, who was mentioned in the podcast before. He was the first person to bring tissue culture kits to the market in the U.S., but for the hobby market, right? And um, he's my friend, and he gave me this tissue culture kit, and I was scared to use it. I felt like I had to get ready, you know? I had to, like, build a clean room, get myself a flow hood, and, I, you know, I had to, like, get myself ready, not only with all the supplies, but in my brain, get psyched up to do it. And he comes to my store a year later, and the, like, kit is sitting in the same place where it was when he left it there. And he's like, what's going on? And I was like, well, you know, I got to get a place. I got to, you know, he's like, we're going to do this shit right here, right now. And so he brought in his little toolbox. It was like a Rubbermaid tote. And inside of it, he had the media that was already made. And we did a couple of things. Number one, we divided plants that he brought that were already in tissue culture. But we also took some clones of plants that I had around my store. We took of a pepper plant and some other stuff. And we worked in a Rubbermaid tough box turned on its side. You know, and people ask, oh, did it yeah, have like a clear that. piece of plastic with rubber gloves? That you... No, it was just a Rubbermaid tough box turned on its side and we wore masks so that when we breathed, we weren't gonna just breathe into the cuttings, cutting area. And in there, we had a plate, scalpels, forceps, and a spray bottle with alcohol. And we spray the plate down, wipe it down with some sanitized paper towels. We would just take these tiny little cuts of, off the plants, and then we put them into the media that had already been prepared. Every single one grew, like every one, with zero contamination. Every single one survived and grew. So tissue culture, it's just not that hard. We're gonna have a kit, that's gonna make it even easier for you to get your toes in there. And then after that, then maybe you'll say, all right, I was successful. And now I'll go out and buy myself a flow hood. Now I'll go out and buy myself a nice you know, autoclave or pressure cooker to make the media. When I learned this, and this goes for a lot of other things I do too, but like you fall in love. Like I love this. Seeing the results long term, it's way different than growing. But you see your culture, they're like little pets. You're like, oh my God, I'm go check on my cultures. But it's so fun, man. And you learn, but this is how, this is Jesse growing when he gets old because my back hurts. But you, you fall in love and you learn a lot. So I'm excited to share what we have and we know and, and get a lot of people that are amazing at what they do. Uh, that they're ready to jump in and join and share what they know, man. And it'll be awesome.